What is up, you guys? So, last reaction did pretty well. Um, I think it did pretty well because One Piece is back. And with a makeover, a little bit of a pretty extreme makeover, I don't expect this reaction to do as well as last, re last reaction, not even close. But Egghead is definitely bringing in a lot of hype. Someone did put it, there was a few comments actually, to be fair. Um, I don't remember all of them, but the most recent one was, oh, you don't react to the opening. It's like, well, no. Um, I did mention in the previous reaction, but I do think that people obviously don't watch the full video for, you know, fair reasons. I don't watch, you know, reactions to this fullest, especially after the reaction is over. I don't watch the post stuff, but uh, I did mention in the post stuff that like, yeah, for copyright reasons, didn't, you know, didn't watch it. I mean, I did see it. Um, I do try to like hold back my reaction anyways, but I did mention there are a lot of spoilers, a lot of spoilers. And I didn't mention that, the, you know, it is cool. The dynamic they did. Again, I don't want to repeat myself. If you didn't read, the, if you didn't watch that part, that's on you. But I just want to reiterate for anybody who was like, he didn't react to the opening. The opening was so cool. It's like, yeah, the opening was cool. The opening was actually the hint that we were gonna get a makeover visually. Um, but hey, you know, I, I can't I can't answer for everybody. Um, especially when videos actually do well. Um, I just get more comments and I'm like, this is this is even more reason why I don't reply to all of them because I'm like, well, not everybody's gonna watch the same amount as other people in terms of the video and the content. Or even see it the same way. So, anyways. Uh, that aside, I'm pretty hyped. We did have a very disturbing emu moment showing, um, well, I mean, it's a little, it's a, it's, it's a little a bit of a mixed bag. We're not too sure if it was emu's abilities. Most likely not. Uh, it didn't seem like emu did any gestures or anything particular that would indicate that it was their ability. We also don't know emu's gender, I also realized. But, um... Yeah, we just had a cool like montage scene with Emu. Um, someone did mention who I kind of gathered probably knows Japanese that in the manga, uh, the sound effect that they actually had uh, for that scene was very much like pew pew, meaning it was like continuous blast. Now, I also want to admit that it was partially my fault for kind of forgetting that visually it also looked like it was a bunch of beams i just kind of always remembered it as like a big giant boom and the whole thing just got demolished um again this is why anime adaptations are cool because they can change our perspective on the on, on the manga panels because manga and even manhwa um they tend to you know they give room for imagination which is partially a benefit but also a negative because sometimes we might also misinterpret things um it's like hieroglyphs or something. But anyways, that's enough recap. Let's jump right in uh, and start in three, two, one. Go. Wow, what a great opening. I'm so glad you guys got to see me right now. <laughs> Sorry, I'm playing. Yeah, Sabo did uh, did get traumatized a little bit, maybe. We, we, we didn't get to see it. Um, like what he saw exactly, but he did imply that he has seen Emu. Yeah. Yeah, and then we got this creepy ass scene. Boom, 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 and then this happened. Yeah, this that was that was intense. Meanwhile, Luffy and the gang are set out into a new quest uh, with mysterious girl jewelry Bonnie. And then Bonnie was like, "Oh shoot, uh, you guys are gonna die! Watch out, Jaws is in the ocean." Um massive by the way that thing is huge a new island future island egghead weird name for an island of the future it's like a it's like dr eggman from sonic egghead island dun, 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 dun. <laughs> sorry it does actually the island does low-key look like a sonic level too I, i'm getting ahead of myself we'll see it what? The island's not safe? No way, Robin. What makes you think that? I mean, not the island, the area. Alright, I deserve that. Uh, <laughs> I shouldn't clown on Robin. It's weird. Hmm. Yeah, he could probably shoot the, uh... Oh, snap. Yeah, use the use the the blast, the blast. Oh, 
That was close. Boom, 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 boom. Quick, Zoro, do your cut slash ye slash thing. Mmm, it's not organic. That was a good catch by Zoro. He heard the clank. So, something, something made that thing. Bro, we're going straight down. <laughs> Oh yeah, these guys can't swim. Oh no, the, these guys are screwed. Oh shoot. Uh, Jimmy could get that. Yeah, I was gonna say because uh, normally it's Sanji that does this, but I was like, actually, since we have Jimmy on the crew, it might be much better. Funny. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> Insert voice acting drowning. <laughs> Timber. No, we're good. Hmm. You got like some kind of modified vision, don't you? Or like radar? Probably modified something. Either you or the ship. Huh? Oh, okay. Why does it have the bunny ears? Oh, okay. Rabbit. A little suggestive. Why? Okay. Why does it have to be a rabbit? Yay! Now he's like, um, jet ski, but with a giant ass ship. Let's see which invention does better. Oh, Vegapunk! We saw that. That said Vegapunk. And this is Vegapunk on the eyes, too. Damn. It just outright says it. That's pretty crazy. Alright, well, uh, that's not good. Um, I'm sure Usopp can sense that. Maybe. Zoro, maybe, can sense it. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, it's not a good start to this. Oh, okay. Thanks, Shanji. Great priorities. Not like Usopp or. Or just, I guess Soros fine. Whatever. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, they're gonna be freezing in that water. It's so oddly appropriate, because outside right now is like minus 40, and I'm just like, bro, I just hate the cold now. <laughs> like right now, I'm like, oh, no. It's as cold outside for me as it is in the anime. Like literally, I kid you not, it's minus 40. It's actually minus 40. I'm not exaggerating. So it's it's actually insane. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> it's cold everywhere. I can't escape it. Good thing Jimmy's a big guy, you know. I was gonna say, like, if he's not that big, he wouldn't be able to get them all. Nah, it's all right. They'll be fine. I'm sure they've gone through worse. Just a little water. It's crazy to think. I mean, Devil Fruit uses it just so strong, but then a little bit of seawater, flick, flick, happens though. Then that. I think I saw heaven. <laughs> well, you gotta find land somewhere, brother. Also, the ship capsized, so... Well, I don't know about that one. No. It's coming! God, that thing is big. Like, I knew it was big because of the sunny, but... It's even bigger now, in perspective. Really? That's a little overkill, don't you think? Uh, eh, it's nothing. Oh, no. Again?
<laughs> Whatever. It's, they're dead. Uh, <laughs> I'm not even going to try. Like, no, no, no. We're going to have like three. I know how this works. We're going to have like three scenes in between. The ship actually capsized. Damn. No, there's stuff in that ship, by the way. Like, everything just got tarnished by the water. Seawater, too. Nubby, son. Nubby. Nubby. Wait. Robin, you want? Nubby. Robin. Nubby. Robin. Wait. 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 <laughs> I hate Sanji. I love him, but I hate him. I thought it said Vegapunk 5 or Vegapunk 3. Hmm. Is there more than one? Who the hell is this guy? Is this Frankie? No, this is this is another. Yeah, this is Vega Punk. Vega. No, actually, I don't know if this is Vega Punk. <laughs> this looks like a Mega Man character. Guts Man. Guts Punch. <laughs> oh my God! One punch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're built a little different there, buddy. All right. All right. I. I. Yep. Fair enough. Big strong man over here. Can you save the? These guys are gonna drown. They should all be drowned at this point. Like they should be all done. It's that easy, huh? Kaido's crew tried so hard to kill all these people. All it took was like, man, if we just put them in the ocean, like that should be no problem. And then people would be like, no, a water devil fruit would not be broken. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, pal. Uh, I love these mid cards. That's sick. Oh, they're totally fine. Oh, wonderful. I'm so glad they're a okay all the time. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Okay, I thought that was Robin. I was like, ah. Huh. Okay, so we're just not gonna add explanation. No, this is Tashigi and the the rest. Uh, in Punk Hazard, I think. I guess. I'm guessing this is their, uh, the medicine to try and, like, get them off of the... That might not be healthy. I don't know. Okay, you're, you're overachieving a little bit there, buddy. Uh... Where's Smoker? No, they're pirates. Evil, evil pirates. <sighs> I know, I know, I know, narrator. I've watched this show. <laughs> there is like, there's no way you watched all 1,000 whatever episodes. 1,090 episodes. So I'm going to recap for you. It's like, in case you forgot. <laughs> it's like... I don't know what I'm more disappointed by. The the story for assuming that I haven't or that I have. <laughs> like I'm neither proud nor nor proud. I don't know what is the Oh, they're dead. <laughs> Bro, they're so dead. <laughs> this is terrible timing for the uh for reminiscing. Hello, who's this? This is a different character. Ooh. I, I didn't notice the tattoos. The tattoos are different. Those are, they look, they got like the, the petals and stuff. Damn. Oda, I like this design. I mean, I saw her earlier, but. But the. Squad. No. <laughs> Oh, hello, Habari. So this is how Habari looks, huh? Okay. I don't like Groose's hair. I didn't know it was like lime. Lime is a little, uh, I don't know how I feel about lime. Lime's a little weird. Why have all these Marines got like the brightest ass like hair color now? You know what I'm saying? Like Kobe had pink and I was like, oh, he stands out. Bro, Habari's got like, 
She's bright blonde. Like, she's real blonde. My guy here looking like a highlighter. <laughs> Look at him. As if his hat didn't catch enough, enough attention. Damn. No wonder he's wearing the hat. He's trying to draw attention away from his hair. Why, well, you scared about a little Yonko? No, I'm kidding. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking, guys. I'm always Team Yonko over. We'll die. But aren't you, like, sword? Y'all are sword, though, right? Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty fair. That's true. And that's pretty true. And that's true. You guys are so annoying. Oh, shoot. We're actually... St Wait, why is he going to Egghead? I missed something. Hold on. Is it because the Seraphim are at Egghead? I'm going to assume the Seraphim are... I can't remember. Did Drake die? Drake's alive, right? Drake? It's okay, bro. Kobe's strong. He'll be fine. So G14 is not at um, Punk Hazard. I forgot to read G14. See, again, this is one of those things where the manga, I think, maybe does a better job. Hello. God damn. I'm not looking. I know better. Mm -hmm. Just let me know when the scene is over. Yep, yep, you're Bonnie. I heard that part. I didn't see it. Do, do, put your shirt back on, please. Do, 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 do. Buggy. Okay, that's a dick move. <laughs> Bro, if I'm Chopper, I'm throwing hands. <laughs> Luffy, why? Mm. He's an emperor? Random. Oh my god, guys! Toei! A little warning, please. God damn, you know what this, you know what, you don't. You know what's, you know what's going on. I, come on, keep it a little, you know. I thought your hair turned white. The newspapers were making a fuss about it. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> huh? Oh. That's weird. He couldn't do that before. So is it like a... Ugh, again. Okay, thank God for the shirt. So is this like a... Is a thing he can do outside of Gear 5 now as well? I guess since he's awakened, he can kind of do the wacky stuff even without being again. How long does it take to put a shirt on? God damn! <laughs> Come on, brothers! I'm not okay with this. Bro, how is it worse with the shirt on? <laughs> Hello? When have you ever known Luffy to have any money? Oh, it sounds like you know where this place is. Hmm. Which means we got a scrap. The name of this island is Egghead. It looks like a Sonic level. It houses Dr. Vegapunk's lab. It's said to be 500 years in the future. I know that name! He's like, wait a minute. Isn't that the guy with the with the beep boops and the and the scientific stuff? Cool story, bro. What happened to your character design? I feel like Toei's done that thing where it's like, all right, we're gonna choose the insert female character. We're <laughs> for this arc, we're gonna we're gonna do our thing. Case in point: Robin during Dress Rosa or Nami during Whole Cake. Please, for the love of God, Toei, do not make this a thing with. With her. Not not with Bonnie, alright? Not not with Bonnie. I cannot. I cannot stress this enough. It's, it's, it's not okay. Super! 
But even Sanji's like, damn. Oh, wait. Actually, I just remembered. <gasps> Here we go. Here we go. Okay, I'm excited about this one. This one, this one's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Sanji, get excited. Sanji, get excited. Get excited. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. It's Vega Punk. Ooh. 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 Wait, she has orange hair? Oh, now she looks like Nami. That's a little lame. I thought she'd have green hair. Bro, I thought she'd have Groose's hair and Groose would have her hair. Lame. Wait, maybe she doesn't have more. Nah, oh, she does. Okay, actually, it's more like it's more like Rongiku Ginger than it is like Robin Ginger. Maybe, but to be fair, hey, the yams are still there, so I'll take it. <laughs> Look at this little smug punk right here. Baga. <laughs> she seems like the kind of character. You seem like the kind of type to say back. Look at that Nami ripoff. Why do they all look like they? Man, she really does look like Nami, huh? Bro, everyone was saying I'm Doctor Vegapunk. It's like what? Doctor Vegapunk's a woman, and then everyone ignores the number two. Um, I'm kidding, actually. I, even in the manga, no one really ignored the number two. We kind of all saw it. We were like, oh wait, there's a two on her chest, meaning she, there's probably other numbers. Meaning there's probably other Vegapunks. I'm not even going to like try and walk around that because the opening just doesn't care. It was like, here you go. You know, it's like, oh, okay. I, he was the, who's the Einstein looking guy? It's like, hmm, <laughs> I don't know, man. So, but yeah, uh, that is, I don't know if she introduced her name. No, she just said Vegapunk, which is technically true. Sure, why not? Um, good episode. Uh, definitely cool. We got to see Bonnie actually... You know, in, in, introduce yourself to the to, to the gang, not the whole gang, but to the gang, uh, and we got to see uh, allegedly Vegapunk. I mean, technically we did. Um, we also got to see Egghead, and we got to see Groose. Ah, his his design looks even weirder in person. More importantly, we got to see what was her name, the the chick with the choker. You know who I'm talking about. I can't remember what her name was. Um, her name was, her name was, her name was Doll. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Doll, I'll accept. You know, let's get, let's get a little more. Oh, like, come on, come on, toy. Let's, let's, let's stretch out the Doll scenes. Let's really cut down on whatever I just saw with Bonnie this episode. I'm not, I'm not a big supporter. I'm not a big supporter. Um, there's just, you know, I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna be frank here. Um, if y'all are, you know, on the on the Bonnie train and y'all don't know, all right, I'm just gonna save you now. You gotta you gotta get off the bus. Get off the bus, buddy. Get off the bus now, cause this thing's gonna crash. I'm just I'm, I'm gonna be real with you. You need to get off this bus. <laughs> like you have to get off this bus. I have come from the future and I'm telling you get off the bus. So listen to me, please. All right. Um, but oh, Toei doesn't care. Toei's like whatever, bro. It's fine. I'm like no, I don't think it is. Anyways, but there, you know, it's Japan. Uh, <laughs> yikes. Um, okay. That was basically it. Uh, we didn't really get much else in terms of like where we were going. We got G14 stuff and we got Helmeppo begging them to go to Hachinosu. They don't have the firepower yet. Um, obviously, we did see a certain gray-haired individual in the opening doing some, you know, a little bit of this and a little bit of mm -mm with somebody that we know who does a little bit of... I'm trying to be like super... I'm trying to be super broad here, but I'm just making myself look ridiculous. Uh, yeah, there's there's a, there's a guy that we're waiting for to to hopefully campaign these youngsters to try you know get Kobe back because remember Kobe has friends, but he also has a teacher, and that teacher might not be too happy when he hears that a uh, Yonko, you know, stole his apprentice, uh, kidnapped him, stole him. That's the wrong phrasing. You get the idea. So. Uh, we'll see where that goes. I think I'm more excited to build up to uh, some of the Egghead stuff because I do want to see Egghead. Uh, I think with this animation, it'll look pretty cool. Um, again, it's a little strange because the animation is, you know, in most parts, it's normal. Again, it, whenever we come back to the Straw Hat crew, there's a little bit of, 
little bit of a different style. I think it's to do with the cold. I think it's because like the cold is doing this, like this, this, this style. Cause now I'm looking at it and I'm like, it looks more normal actually. So last episode was actually probably a lot more egregious. This one was a lot more like, yeah, like they're, they're, it's actually pretty normal when you look at it. Um, I'll be honest, the biggest disappointment uh, easily is that, um, I can't say her name, I just forgot, uh, Vegapunk. Uh, the, the one we saw here, uh, Vegapunk, her hair is, it, it's not like what I thought it was going to be. I was like, wait, oh, it's just Ginger. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, uh, now you literally are just Nami. Um, but yeah, maybe we'll see some things. Again, they did say that the Seraphim, they alluded that the Seraphim are at Egghead, which... You know, that's that's a little bit of a danger sign because our crew is at Egghead and uh, we saw how the Seraphim dealt with one Yonko. And granted, Blackbeard did a decent job, uh, at least as far as, we, as far as we could tell. But yeah, the Straw Hats, we'll see. We'll see. It's another Yonko crew. I think the Yonko should be fine against Seraphim, but it's not an easy task for them. Um, so we're going to see. We also don't know how many Seraphim are at Egghead. Uh, we also don't know if it's only Seraphim that are at Egghead. Egg, egg, because remember, last time it was Kobe and some of the Seraphim. And Kobe's not that strong, you know. But there's other people in the Marines, you know. You have Admirals, you have uh, CP0, you have, you know, Vice Admirals, I guess. Although it seems like some of these Vice Admirals are a little occupied, the ones that we know of. So yeah, there's 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 some there's some cats here and there that we we gotta be careful. We gotta be careful. That's all I'm saying. So let we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out what happens in the next episode. Obviously, if I missed anything, guys, please put it down in the comments. If you guys have enjoyed this and you're looking forward to me to react to next week's episode, please like and subscribe. And I will catch all of you guys later. Hope you guys have a good one. Take care. Peace and goodbye.